Hi guys, we've gone through how to use the scanner to get the user input. So in this tutorial, we are going to dive into how to output the user. Well, aside from the system.line.print line which we are using until now, there are also several types of output that we can choose from. So we are going to use the simplest one first. System.out.print line. Hello world. So by using this, I'm going to remove this. By using this, um, we will print one line of code with n line. So what is the meaning of n line? It will go to the next line. Uh, so this is equivalent to where we are using the print without line and with this backslash n which represents the end line they will go to the next line huh? yeah so as you can see here yeah both are doing the same thing system dot out the print line with without the end line it will automatically prepare one app append one sorry append one at the end of the string and if system dot out the print it will not automatically append the end line but we can manually add by using the backslash n if we don't use a backslash n yeah it will go not go to the next line so this is the difference between system dot print line as well as this system dot print so there's another thing which is uh, providing us more flexibility when we want to print something the name of the console output is system dot print f so printf is a very very strong uh, console output function which allows us to plug in any variables that we need according to their type. So for example, we have a x which value is 1 and we have a double y which value is 1.5 and another type of string uh, name that is holding my name, right? And to plug all these variables of different uh, types, we, we cannot do like simply use the print line that plus 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 plus. Yeah, we might not get the result that we want. So, in order to plug them in, we need to follow their type. So, for integer, we will use percentage %d as a placeholder for the integer value variable. Whereas for double, we will use percentage %f, and for string, we will use percentage %s. And also, uh, all the console output except the print line will not provide us the automatic uh, plugging in the backslash, backslash n for us. So if we want to go to the next line, we need to go manual. Yeah. And let's see. We put the x inside, we put the y inside, and we put the name inside. So remember. All of them will have their respective, we call it as a formatter. Whereas uh, for integer, all will be like percentage %d, for double will be like percentage %f, which stands for the floating number, and string will be percentage %s. Uh, we have more types, but the one I can show you. <coughs> yeah. As you can see, 1, 1.5, and jiaxiao. So the good things of formatter is that, aside from simply plugging, plugging in the variable we can also do some changes and do some computation for it before we print the things out for example if for the floating number for the double we want to make it like only two decimal places instead of so many decimal places right so the things that we can do is putting a dot and after that we need to define how many uh, zero we need it means how many decimal places we need for example two then uh, I'll show you another thing that is 1.555 then we try to see the results here and yeah as you can see 1.555 is rounded to two decimal places where 1.555 becomes 1.56 so it will do the rounding for us yeah we don't have to worry about it aside from these three types we also have another type which is the 
number this character character is percentage C if I'm not mistaken let's see and the add inside yeah as you can see so all of them will have their corresponding formatter and there are also more types of formatter which is available in Java feel free to dive on it so and other things if I want something like a tab like this one is for the next one is I enter the enter button in our keyboard and if we want to have a tab we use a percentage T uh, not percentage backslash T yeah so this one they can automatically help us to tap yeah so this is the range of the tap but there are several uh, things that you can do with console output yeah definitely it is uh, it's up to you how you want to format your things your variables and the easiest thing that we can do is a system to auto print line if it cannot fulfill your needs you can use the printf for more flexibility yeah so that's it for console output. See you again.